Let me start by talking about what I think is the most enjoyable part of this trio, thinking about teaching. On the one hand, I expect that uh, it's something, that's say, thinking about teaching, that the actual doing of teaching, preparing courses, being a faculty member, gives you a little time for. On the other hand, it's quite obvious that you're thinking about teaching all the time in one way or another. You're designing courses, you're planning courses, curricula, classes, lesson plans. You're wondering why class went wrong, or why discussion never took hold, or why class went so well today, and how you might bottle that magic for tomorrow. The thinking that I'm talking about, the thinking about teaching that I'm talking about, uh, implied in this trio, thinking, writing, and publishing about teaching, is built on the thinking that you're doing all the time. That thinking, your lives and experiences as teachers, is the foundation, the obvious starting place <laughs> for any uh, contemplative thinking about teaching of the kind I'm talking about. At the time, the thinking I'm talking about, uh, at the same time, rather, that the thinking I'm talking about involves a kind of stepping back from your immediate experiences, the thing you do all the time, to a point of contemplation, meditation, reflection on those too frequently inexamined or underexamined foundations. It's, again, going back to the notion of the obvious, the obvious is the last thing noticed and often the most important. For the longest time, the best teachers have known and said that the very best thing they can do for their students is to help them to learn how to think and to adopt the habit of thinking critically, not becoming embroiled in a panic about coverage, for example. Now, you've doubtless heard the Chinese proverb, perhaps to the point of nauseam as have I, that if you give a man a fish, you fed him for a day. If you teach him how to fish, you fed him for a lifetime. This is often cited as why it's important to teach uh, students how to think critically. But the same situation with teaching, and, and despite my beginning with a mild contrarian complaint, this is uh, a, a good core in the pressure to think about thinking, writing, and publishing about teaching. We need to encourage more active, informed, intelligent reflection about teaching, more conscious and deliberate reflection and discussion about teaching among faculty. We need to give them, you, <laughs> permission, encouragement to lift your, their, your noses from the grindstone of teaching in order to collect, distill, distribute the wisdom and insights that can only derive from your experience.